<laughs> I'm good. It's a little scary, but I'm good. Welcome to Storm in the Castle. We are here at the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. We're going to take a ride on a train today. Um, it doesn't go all the way to Silverton, but we're we're going to try and see some cool things and not get too scared by the cliffs. We're going to be riding in the car called Night Sky, and it's, um, it's got all glass. We paid a little bit more for that one. So um, we can see more. Uh, I'm excited to go see. What do you think? What are you excited about? Everything. Everything? You excited to ride the train? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right. This should be pretty cool. I'll show you the car when we get there. So here's our car. You know, it's got the glass all the way around. the crew, different jobs on the railroad, history of the railroad. It'll even tell you a story about an incident with a potato truck. Okay? So, potato truck, indeed. Okay. Here we are, on the train. <laughs> it's very, very, very rocky. It goes back and forth and back and forth. I mean by the rock. Watch the car ahead of us. This train is run by a steam engine and, it, and every once in a while you hear the whistle blow. You can see the steam go. It's pretty... I'm, I'm just glad I'm in one of the back cars and not one of the front cars because that steam would be annoying. I'm good. It's a little scary, but I'm good. I'm good. Wait for it. It's gonna be right after these rocks, friends. Right there, friends. Isn't that oh wow. Beautiful? Yeah, people ask me all the time, why in the world are you working on a steam train if you have two degrees? Best office window. And this is all pink granite, by the way, up above us.
stopped. Not sure why, but we've stopped. Waters. Oh, you can see a spout out there. Oh, I. Oh, are they sucking up water? Oh, okay, he's filming it. Oh, now they're gonna fill it with water. I've never seen a train bathroom. Here's the train bathroom. Hello. It's very, very small. Now when we get up here to Cascade, we turn around on what we call a Y. Okay? It's spelled W-Y-E. A Y. It's right to travel by the way. But it's basically a three-point turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull forward of it, then we will stop. Do not get off yet. Okay, because our crew has to line the switch so we get back into that one. All right, that's where the train will sit while you're wandering around, enjoying the great outdoors, taking pictures of that locomotive, which, by the way, much better picture taking opportunity of the locomotive up here because there's no McDonald's behind it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be sitting there, and then once you come back and we're ready to leave, we'll pull forward the opposite direction and head on home. Basically, a three. Backing up, they're turning the train around. <laughs> Going backwards. Hi. <laughs> we stopped for lunch and turned the train around. So we are here at Cascade Canyon. Uh, we decided to eat by the river instead of going to a picnic table. Check out this. What a view. So, it's been a fun day. You guys like the train? Yeah. I no? think this will be my favorite part of the trip. No? What do you think? I like the other train. Can you guys see the Y up ahead? Right there. Yeah. How the straight train went there and then it backed up into here. And then it's going to go out. That way. She's a train. That's the end of um, our day on the train. That was fun. It was a good time. Our um, attendant, Heather, was so funny and so friendly and nice, and it was really nice. So we paid a little extra and got the first class, and I think it was totally well worth it. We had drinks the whole time and a little snack and ended up with a cool water bottle. Let's see if I can pull it up in a bag. So here's the bottle. I guess it's a cup more. It's one of those type of cups. Anyway, it was nice.
it was fun and if you ever get a chance to come out to Durango I'd recommend checking out the Durango Silverton narrow gauge um, in the winter time they only go to Cascades uh, Canyon but in the summer they go all the way to Silverton and I really actually want to come back and do that one day um, so this was a good time um, I hope that you can come and and try this out sometime.